Hey, um, would you mind if we switch seats just for this last part? She really likes to watch out the window as we land, and it helps calm her down. Yeah, no, even if I wanted to switch, I think it's more important that your daughter learn a valuable lesson. That's not how the world works, you know, you don't always get your way. Are you for real, dude? <sighs> What up, YouTube? This is Daniel Rucker with True Table. Welcome to the table. Gentlemen, that clip right there. That clip is what I be talking about. See, when I get on this camera, I get in the kitchen, I get cooking, today's no different. The reason why I do this, the reason why my channel exists is because I want to continue to give information to men, to women, to people collectively. What I want, though, from my men is I want my men to start to understand how pivotal our position in life is. How important it is that men make it their point of constantly finding situations where they can leave lessons, give advice, guidance, teaching. Why? Because we're necessary. You know, it was comedic and it was a moment and you know, obviously th this particular thing was scripted. But the message behind it, in my opinion, is powerful because, see, if you listen to the verbiage of the mother, she was so concerned about what her daughter wanted. She was so concerned about what her daughter wanted more than what the comfort of that man was. Like, yeah, it's nice. OK, if he wanted to do that and he wanted to move out of the way and allow for the little girl to see the airplane land and whatnot, that would have been OK. But the point was, is that. He was like, nah, nah, flag on the play, shut this down. So you want me, miss, to get out of my seat that I paid for and move over, allow your daughter that you didn't pay for her ticket to have a window seat. You didn't position her to have this full experience, but you want to jump on, you know, my coattail and benefit from what I got going on? Absolutely not. And I commend that man. I think more men need to start to really look at things and be objective with it. See, I know being a man, you're taught to be chivalrous. You're taught to put yourself second. You're taught to always make sure that a woman's needs and her wants come before your own. I don't know, though, gentlemen. I don't believe that that's necessarily right. One of the things that they teach you in the air, if you've ever flown or been on a plane, is that you got to strap in and take care of yourself first. You got to make sure your ox oxygen is flowing first. And I think that that particular teaching is so important in every aspect of life that you have to understand that you have to be solid. And not only solid, you got to be satisfied. When did, when did it start becoming that men don't find it necessary to make themselves happy? You know, I think that the many things that we do and we we purchase or we participate in everything from sports to, you know, um, video games to hobbies like building model cars or RC cars, paintball, uh, dancing, whatever, whatever your whatever floats your boat. Those things were designed to give men, you know, entertainment, joy happiness and that's necessary gentlemen you know the there there should be no reason why a man lives his life and feels it necessary or makes it his point to always position a woman especially in this case a strange woman over the knees of himself i think that the way he handled this situation was perfect i think that the way that he decided to respond to her wasn't you know contentious wasn't you know overly rude wasn't you know um like a ball busting none of the above he simply responded to her request and well within his right because guess what it was just a request she will live without getting her daughter to feel it necessary to view the plane landing. I mean, to the point to where she even said, you know, it calms her down. Why is the position on the plane calming her down? Why aren't you doing your job as a mother and teaching her to remain calm? Teaching her to 
relax. No, but you want to infringe on this man's comfort, this man's viewing. What if all he wanted to do was view the plane landing? What if that was his moment? What if that's something that he needed? You didn't even think about that. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on here real quick, share my thoughts, my outlook on this particular situation. Gentlemen, make it a point to put yourself first. One of the coin phrases I use is men first, and I stand with that. So men first, keep doing what you're doing, keep building to be the best version of yourself, that's all I got for you today. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I would so appreciate all of my new subscribers. Thank you. Welcome to the True Table family. You made a good choice. I'm going to continue to bring this content. Um, until next time, thanks.